Hey guys, today I actually will show you which camera I use for all my recordings and it's not expensive because you know I don't want to spend too much money on cameras but I will show you which camera I use for my photo shooting, vlogging or videoing. alright? So let's get the video rolling! So remember what I said, I like to help other people so I would like to help you too as well too. Myself, I don't like to invest expensive cameras because I have Note 20 Ultra, I have Note 10 Plus, I can use this for my recording, it doesn't really matter so I don't need to spend too much money on the camera. So if this video is right for you, you're looking for a budgeting camera for photo shooting, photographing, videoing, vlogging, this video is right for you. If you're looking for very expensive cameras to start your videos, uh, channel or your YouTube, whatever, this video is not right for you. So I'm just here to help people that want to start. They don't want to invest too much. They want to invest less than $1,000 Canadian. And this video is going to be right for you. Please subscribe my channel, share this video, and share my other videos, my other channel as well. And that's it. So go right up here. Go to my other channel and yeah, subscribe that as well too. And let's help each other. Let's make this 2021 better. As you know, it's crazy. But no excuses. So today we're just only talking about cameras, what I use, okay? I'm not talking about other cameras. So this is what I use. Sony 6300. You can get a Sony 6500. It doesn't really matter because one, it, the screen will come out one the screen will stay here it doesn't really matter it's just a little bit more expensive it's still under one thousand dollars any camera that you buy you will have a lens come with this and the lens is 18 to 55 mm and this lens here is it will do the job anyway all you have to do is you go to photoshop or you go to adobe premium cc and start editing and these will do the job but myself, I have another lens that's 30mm, 1.8 aperture. So if you look at all the pictures that I took, this, 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 basically I use this camera lens. 30mm, 1.8 aperture. So this is really, really nice when i taking photos. You'll be asking, what is this? Because when I do vlogging, this lens doesn't come out, doesn't flip out. Not like Canon. These cameras doesn't flip out. So I need to know what I'm looking at. Mirror right here will actually help you to see what are they pointing at. So when you do vlogging, you can see where am I pointing at. So that's how simple it is. And it's light, cheap, only less than 30 bucks Canadian, and you can get everything. You can put another mic right here. You can put the lighting right here. It doesn't matter. So you can do anything you want with this little thing. So I'm going to show you the lens that I used. So this is the lens, one of the lens. The other lens I use is 18mm to 55mm. And this one is a little bit more expensive. This is 10 to 18mm. So if you're doing vlogging, this is a wide angle shot and you can actually start taking videos and your lens can go as close as you want, just like that. So this is a very, very good lens, but it's very expensive. You can get a second hand if you can. I got this second hand as well too, the money. Okay, this is just a cap, but this worth every single penny. So this is what I use. Now I would like to talk about the phone. So on a Samsung phone, doesn't matter if you have the Note 20 Ultra, Note 10 Plus, S10 Plus, doesn't matter because I think starting from the S10 or higher or the Note 10 or higher, they have this thing called stabilizer for your video. And the stabilizer can help you to run when you're recording, walk when you're recording without any stabilizer. So you can actually walk with this and without using a stabilizer and it will work as well too. Secondly is because they have SD cards, so you can actually after you're recording, take out the SD card out and then put it in your computer and start editing on your premium CC or your Photoshop. So basically, the SD card slot is very useful. It's because 
I don't have to transfer everything to my computer and then take it back out and then post it on the other thing. That's why Samsung phone is a little bit better than the other phone is because they have all these little features already on the phone itself. They have 128K, 256K, 6K, 512 gigabyte and one terabyte if you you know depends where you are okay so what i'm saying is try that out if you do not like samsung i cannot help you but if you like samsung you don't have to go with the expensive one you can go for the cheaper ones there's like s10 there's a s10 series note 10 series and there's an s20 okay you don't have to buy note 20 i'll try the most expensive one s20 fe they have that feature as well so subscribe to my channel share this video and have a nice day all right i hope this video helps you have a nice day happy 2021 see you peace out